Hi, Jerry Kafitz here with Omega Chemical in the second in a five-part series of videos that we're doing called The Five Secrets of Truck Washing. The Five Secrets of Truck Washing. We're here today to talk to you about the laws of chemistry. The laws of chemistry as they apply and relate specifically to truck washing. The laws of chemistry. Now what do we mean by that? Well, it's important to understand the chemical requirements in a good truck wash. Uh, in a good aluminum brightener, in a good truck wash, it's important to understand what you're trying to do chemically. A lot of companies, believe it or not, have products out there that have it backwards in terms of the chemical nature as it relates to the task at hand. Now, do these products work? Yeah, they can work at times, but this is what I call using a wrench as a hammer. Okay? A hammer works better as a hammer, and if we stick with the laws of chemistry, the chemical nature of a product versus the job you're asking it to do, you're just going to be in better shape from the get-go here. Now, one of the first laws is this. Acid-based products are almost always more effective on metal surfaces. Alkaline-based products are almost always most effective on synthetic surfaces. Are there, are there exceptions to this? There are exceptions to this, but they're rare. Okay? So what are we talking about here? An alkali on a synthetic uh, surface has the ability to, to defeat the dirt on that surface because that dirt is very, very different in nature from the dirt on a metal surface. What are we talking about? The dirt on a metal surface is not dirt. Okay? We call it road film. Uh, what it is really is oxygen. And it is a, a strong and, and stubborn and resistant and tough bond to break. It is an oxygen metal bond, and therefore an acid-based surface, especially an acid containing, containing hydrofluoric acid because of the fluoride bond to that oxygen, is going to do way, way better at removing road film from trailers. Uh, with respect to uh, an alkaline-based surfaces, uh, those products, alkaline-based, high pH, acid, low pH, those alkaline-based products are going to be more effective because they do better with organic proteins and you don't have oxygen uh, for the most part on a synthetic surface, okay? Fiberglass doesn't rust. Now, what happens in the chemical industry? You know, there's just so much information that's out there. If I read one more description and one more set of claims that a chemical company makes about their product, I think my head's going to break. What a chemical hap company needs to do, unfortunately, for the most part, and we've never done this, ever, 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 is to cloud and complicate the issue and invent terms and get away from these basic principles in terms of explaining to you, the end user, why their product works. Okay? It works if it defeats and breaks the bond of the, of, of the film or the dirt on the surface of the vehicle that you're washing. If it does not do that, you're going to have to brush, plain and simple. So what we need then is chemical energy. You have to put, you have to put the energy into the cleaning equation. You can put it in mechanically, as many of you probably are, and by this I mean brushing. I've always called it, this the Fred Flintstone method, brushing a truck completely, entirely, 100%, always unnecessary tells me you got the wrong product, tells me that the pH of your alkalines is not high enough, the pH of your aluminum brighteners is not low enough, the concentration of hydrofluoric acid in your aluminum brightener is too low, uh, or the concentration of sulfuric acid, which is not usually the case because that's a cheap acid. So what are you looking for? You're looking for power in the product and you're looking for economy, those two things. By power, I mean a product that will dilute at 20 to 1 and work, cold water, no brushing. And by economy, I mean a product that can be bought for 5 to $6 a gallon. That is what we're all about at Omega Chemical. That is what I'm promising to you that we can deliver on that, and we have. And we have so many customers who have built reputations on these products across the country, and we'll make those available in future videos as we talk to them and ask if it's okay for us to do that, which I'm sure it is. So there you have it. The second in the five secrets of truck washing, 
understanding the nature of chemicals, understanding the chemistry in terms of what you're trying to do. You got to know what you're going to hunt before you decide on what weapon you're taking out there to do it. All right, thank you for watching this video and I hope you'll uh, watch the others. Uh, we're going to make some more in this series and uh, appreciate your time in watching this video. I hope you've learned something from it. Thanks.